What's going on, my fellow troops? My name is Ovo, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, I'm going to be giving you guys the best static HV class in Modern Warfare 3. This is going to be my final class setup for Modern Warfare 3, because we do now have Black Ops 6 out, and I'm really looking forward to playing that game. I will be starting to make content on that after this video, just for anyone who's, you know, a returning subscriber. But for all of you guys who are here, still play Modern Warfare 3, or you just haven't moved over to Black Ops 6 yet, and you're looking for the best static HV class, I've got Got it for you right here this thing is going to have absolutely zero recoil it does a great amount of damage obviously it's a fast fire rate weapon and you're going to notice that it has perfectly fast handling and mobility it is a great metal weapon to use inside of modern warfare 3 especially as we are here at the end of season 6 and they're not going to be updating the game anymore which means this gun is not going to see any nerfs which is absolutely amazing for this gun and that means you guys can use this going forward for the rest of the year if you don't ever decide to move over to black ops 6 you can just continue playing this game and this gun will still feel amazing so this thing is just super precise super fast and you guys are going to do absolutely well i'd imagine in your games as you can see from the gameplay i did actually really well with this gun it just feels fantastic as i say and i've tried to make the reload as quick as possible as well because there is a bit of a weird magazine swap kind of thing that this thing does so i've tried to make that quick as well not only on the attachments but on the overall class you're going to have the fastest static hp class possible with the lowest recoil but with that being said hopefully this gameplay has shown enough and with that being said let's now get to the class setup so here we are first thing we're running is the vest as the modular assault rig this is going to allow us to keep our primary and secondary instead of say switching to the gunner vest which kind of doesn't allow you to have two pieces of gear and does force two primaries on there but with the modular assault rig we get to deploy with the maximum ammo for all of our weapons which is useful because this gun by the way does run out of ammo pretty damn quickly so you will want to get as much ammo as possible and that's why this class is going to really allow for a lot of ammo and so yeah this is going to allow you to deploy the maximum ammo and a nice little extra it does is we can resupply lethals and tacticals from dead players which helps with like the whole stims and stuff especially in my case because i love using stims so that is going to be very important then i'm just using the stim as you can see for tactical lethal is the sticky grenade slash semtex as we all know it to be for field upgrade i'm just running trophy system i think it's kind of a useful piece of equipment to be using especially if you're playing objective modes you know i've honestly gone off using them for the longest time and i don't know why because i used to use them all the time in mw 2019 so yeah trophy system we're just running that for gloves we've got the scavenger gloves as you can see it's a no brainer to resupply ammo and throwing knives from dead players we're looking at obviously the ammo here so that is going to help with the ammo resupply then we've got boots we're running them as reinforced boots to make us immune to movement reduction effects that just helps us basically not have to put on attack mask or anything like that to protect ourselves from the stuns and flashes and stuff instead we can wear these and it stops us from feeling that movement reduction so that is really useful and then for the gear we've got two pieces first one we're running is eod padding reduces damage from non kill streak enemy explosives and enemy fire which is obviously going to be extremely common on shipment stuff like that and finally we've got the mag holsters the second piece of gear just to improve that reload speed a little bit more so there we go that's the main stuff we're running so now let's get to the attachments for the first attachment we are running the jack bfb for the muzzle this is obviously an aftermarket part but this thing does a phenomenal job on improving gun kick and vertical recoil obviously it also helps with the horizontal recoil but yeah honestly do not worry about the amount of ads and sprint to fire effects that this thing adds to the gun because this is an smg and it's already a fast mobility fast handling weapon you're not going to feel those cons like let's say if you were to put this attachment on an lmg or something like that on this gun it feels great it really suppresses the vertical and i can't stress this enough it really suppresses it it completely gets rid of it this is super super useful as opposed to the quartermaster suppressor which does help but doesn't do quite as much as this muzzle does so this is really going to help for the most part with that vertical recoil control for the barrel we are running the garrote 8 long barrel this is going to just you know improve our bullet velocity and range overall just making it so that we have further fall off range for our bullets which allows us to kill people at further ranges for the under barrel we're running the bruin heavy support grip this is going to give us more horizontal recoil control firing aim stability it's going to fix the aiming idle sway and it's going to give us gun kick control so all around this is going to just act as a nice piece of support for this gun as well for the optic i'm running the jack glassless optic this gives us a precise sight and it's going to clean up 
up that iron sight completely, make things much more clearer to see, and it allows us to hit our shots much better. And finally, we have the stock, which is the Spree. I guess we're going to say Spree 34 Light Stock. This also helps bring up any sprint speed, movement speed, aim, walking speed, you know, ADS. It's just going to generally spree things up a little bit more on this gun so that you're not totally feeling the effects of, like, the muzzle and the barrel. So this thing's going to help a lot as well. But other than that, that is the class for today's video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to drop a like on this video. Leave me a comment if you want. It can be anything. It helps with the algorithm, of course. And also check out all the links down below in the description. It's much appreciated. I appreciate all the support that I've gotten off those who've chosen to watch these MW3 class setups over the year. I've now covered pretty much every single weapon apart from pistols, which, you know, are capable of having class setups for them. But I don't really care to cover the pistols. I didn't do that with Cold War either. I guess it's just because pistols are not really a go-to for most people and most people aren't using pistols anyway they're kind of their secondary so unless you're camera grinding you can just obviously find somebody else's pistol classes but i've covered now every single dlc and base weapon in this game apart from the pistols and yeah so i obviously wanted to set out to do that with this game and i've now achieved it we're here at the end of the game's lifespan so thank you for everyone who's watched them and supported them it's really really appreciated you guys thank you again and uh yeah but other than that thank you again for watching and i've said that a dozen times now and uh yeah i'll catch you all in the next one bye guys